Hi there, it's Miss Ashman here. This video is going to give you all the information that you need to be able to play yellow. And I'm going to do a demonstration at the end so that you're ready to start your lesson on it. Okay, so um, the first thing we're going to look at, we're on page 34 and 35 in your red keyboard player one book. And the first thing we're going to look at are the quavers here. Now, if you haven't got to yellow yet, then you will need this video. So quavers, if you have a look in the book here, you've got single ones that have a little tail. And then you have more than one, if there's more than one joined together, they have this beam across the top. Okay, these are worth half a beat. And further down, you can see this little chap down here, this little seven with an Elvis hairdo. And he is your quaver rest. So that's half a beat that you don't play for. Okay, now if I go to the piece here, we are now in the C to G area above middle C. So I've got a little bit of information here for you. So just so you can see nice and easily, you've got C, D, E, F and G. And if you look here, the C starts on that in that one, two, three, that third space up from the bottom. And then it's all in step from that point just like your fingers would work on the keyboard. Hopefully that will be available for you to download if you need it. Also, you can go back a page and there is a diagram at the top of where have all the flowers gone, which gives you your C, D, E, F and G at the end. OK, so let's go back to yellow. So yellow has got some repeat marks in there. So if I explain to you how you're going to do it, you're going to play your first two lines. You will repeat back to the beginning and you will play it again. And then from there on, you will go from line three all the way to the end where you stop there. We also have a pause mark at the end. That's this little half circle with a little dot in there. And that little half circle with the dot means that you need to hold the note longer than written. So here we've got a three beat note. It doesn't matter how long you hold it, as long as it is longer than three beats and you feel it's the right time to let go when you do. We have a couple of double notes here. So we have an F and A on top of each other at this point, And we have an E and a G on top of each other at that point, which you will need to watch out for. Set up wise on our keyboard, we need to make sure we have a piano. So if you go to your voice or your tone, depending on your keyboard and select yourself a piano. And then for your style or your rhythm, again, depending on your keyboard, you need to set, to set yourself up an eight beat. And your tempo is at 86. Now don't forget what your tempo means. So here we've got a crotchet equals 86. And that's telling us there are 86 crotchet beats in a minute's worth of music. Pop your accompaniment on and you are ready to go. For this piece, I am going to put the sync start on and I'm now going to demonstrate it now. So once you've learnt it, you might want to come back to this video and play along with me. Here we go. See you in part two. 